NYC. The Big Apple. New York Ooh. City. Ever heard of it? Gang, the boys are going to be here. Gotham Comedy Club, November 9th on the Isle of Manhattan. Ooh. We're coming back. We're storming the beaches. Get some tickets and come see us. It's the New York Comedy Festival, our first time Ooh. in it. You don't want to miss it. The show's going to sell out. Also, the boys are going to be in Hartford, Connecticut on December 14th. Then we're going to go to Albany, New York on December 15th. And then where are we going after that, big man? We're going to be in Syracuse December 16th. Get those tickets. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grew up to be classy. Uh-huh. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. You don't say. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's mad at me. Why? Because I ate her apple uh, donuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This literally sounds like something happened in your apartment. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> These apple cider donuts are hot this time of year. And Tootie don't mess around. It sounds like Aunt Tootie's probably your girlfriend. <laughs> Might have had a tasty relationship a time or two. We're not related by blood. I don't see anything wrong with it. Gang, my co-host is coming at you from across the table. It's a family episode. We're circling the wagons. Oh, yeah. We're locking the doors. We're rolling down the fucking curtains. It's just the fam. It's blackout season. I'm going to be rattling off your guys' questions. We love yous. We appreciate yous. But before that, mm-hmm. the international businessman himself. Us? The mogul. When are you launching a space company? <laughs> These guys are killing you. You're going to be like 20 years behind. I know. I know. Hypersonic rockets flying I'm, around your these head. These guys are bare. I'm going I'm going to save up till I, we can go to deep space. Sp- anybody Ooh. can have space. Get to the moon, whatever. <laughs> Once we're at the moon, I'm taking over, Get okay? Get on the moon. Yeah, you let them storm the beaches <laughs> and then I come up the back. Make sure the coast is clear. It's all a long game with me. How many two liters of Diet Coke and Mentos does it take? <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. And with your help, we'll get that I like, where you're, I like where your head's at, kid. This kid's a go-getter. What's it's up, ca- gang? Oh, sorry. It's KJ, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> That's been big in the YouTube comments Love it. and KJ. Instagram comments. And for KJ. the record, it's not KJ. It's K-A-Y-J-A-Y. Somebody early on goes, let's set precedent real yes. early on. It's K-A-Y-J-A-Y. Yes. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Like K Jewelers. <laughs> Class. <laughs> Every kiss begins with K. Uh, what's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. We fucking love you. You're the lifeblood of the show. We appreciate it. If you haven't already... Please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, even though those, those numbers don't really fucking mean anything no more. But we're always flirting around the one hundo mark. I would like to break I would like to break into the top like fifty or something, mm-hmm. you know? Uh so you can check us out there and then full video available on YouTube. But as you know, those numbers are True the Roof. True the Roof. And then I don't have my notes in front of me. Do you have Tobe? Can we we might have to cut this until you I do this to me every week. Until I find the Don't gr- do it to me. You know I get fired up. Until I find the great let me Google greatest website of all time. That's right, it's Patreon.com <laughs> slash <laughs> Patreon.com slash are you garbage. Go check it out. Plenty of fucking bonus content on there. Probably over 80 hours of podcast you get. It went up 10 from last week. Look at this guy. <laughs> well, He's we, killing it. We record a lot of fucking episodes. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I but, heard 70, 80, maybe we, 90. We do live streams. And also, people don't know if you're just tuning into the show. The additional bonus content that is on there. We got the cribs of your childhood home, the mm-hmm. cribs of my childhood yes. home. We got the golfs on there. We got our moms on we, there. We, we played AYG with our moms. Family friend on there from your childhood. Family friend. We also got your first limo ride. We're doing it. And now the new, the new goal that we announced is in a couple hundred more Patreons. I'm taking a big man and T-Bone to Disney World. When you wish upon a star. It's going to be a good time. I've also never been. Oh, my really? God. I'm friends with Bazos. I'll show you the ropes. I am not going with Toby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the princess of this trip. Uh, Big boy, let me tell you that right we'll now. We'll take you to the dippity do salon, get your hair done. <laughs> this is my make a wish right here. They whack you out for about 700 at the dippity do salon. Woo! What's the dippity do salon? They go and dress you up like a princess will take you into the cat in the Magic Kingdom, and they, you know, they dress you up. Can I do that? I mean, yes. legally, if you're allowed, you sure will pay for it. 
<laughs> Florida might not take too kindly I'll to it. I'll split it with you. I don't think they need a, I don't think they want a 400 pound guy around the little gals. <laughs> He's eating the pumpkin carriage. Yeah, that's nice. It'll be a good time. It'll be Drink, a good time. We're gonna man. be drinking around the world the whole fucking nine yards. I love it. I appreciate it. I I, I appreciate you pulling the trigger on that. Mm-hmm. It's nice. I'm excited to go. I'm excited for it. Yeah, but now because you lived your whole life as a non Disney guy, now Which you're I've gonna, always hated. You hated Disney, but wait, not hold you get on. There. Let's back that up. You've hated that you've that, never that, that, got that, to that. go. Yes, the, the Disney Corporation. <laughs> it's good people, and you've projected <laughs> on people that did get to go, and you're like, it's like the it's the classic. Immature age Foley That thing stinks and you're like Yeah oh Disney World stinks It does it You fucking bozo Oh Disney World stupid Put your cool rides In your Millennium yeah. Falcon Yeah that's like The you can't fire me I quit I'm, I'm glad Disney I waited World. till now Because if I would've won As a kid I would've missed All the cool shit They have now Can't really fit on a ride So that's well, gonna be an issue I figure by the time You know the, the... Have you seen that Patreon I think We're gonna be there next week <laughs> I'm going to have a timeshare down there. Pump the oh, brakes. I need to... a couple of months to get in Disney World. We should shape. go to a timeshare pitch. Okay. That should be the, that should be part of the trashy trip is I'll get a weekend in Disney to go. And do they do that? I'm sure. Set it up. <laughs> I'll bring some sandwches. It'd be nice. Go to lunch. You, watch you just have to watch a nine-hour PowerPoint on Saturday. <laughs> is it nine hours? And there they get you. They really wear you down. They That's make what you it's work like. For it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I like. They this. pump up the heat. You're getting dizzy in there. You how don't know get, what you're signing. How are we going to film it? Go undercover. Body cams. Oh yeah. yes. T Bone. T Bone gets a company card. I'm going to be there with a cowboy hat with a VHS <laughs> cam inside. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be dressed up like a bellboy, <laughs> pushing a cart. Uh, yeah. I like it. It'll be a good time. I'm excited. Thank so you. Get on that the, Patreon. Thank you to everybody that signs up. I mean, there's it's over 2,300 now, and I think that goal is going to be 2,800. I think we're doing 2,750 or something like that. Yeah, we're going to Disney. Yeah, we love it. We love you guys. And we'll and- do a show down there too. Ooh. Line up a Florida show. Fucking the big guy planning a big weekend. I like. Yeah. It. Timeshare pitches. Casual dining facilities. <laughs> buffets. Disney buffets. Yeah. I bet they have a nice buffet at Disney. I don't know if they really do buffets there. Really? I don't know. I figure that'd be right up their alley. I don't I figure know. they'd be serving slop right at the gate when you walk in. <laughs> have some more. It's got a ladle Slimey full of shrimp you know, yeah. thrown in your fat face. <laughs> You're like an orca. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the gators, too. And we're gonna be staying off property. This buffet's pretty good. That's the dolphin food, bro. <laughs> We're going to be staying off property, by the way. What do you mean? We're not staying on this. How, that's how they whack you out. It's like fucking seven hundo and I want the full experience. Yeah, the full experience. The full the full Ryan family experience is you stay off, off the fucking <laughs> premises. You drive over. You're fighting. You park 7,000 miles away. You Sleep hop in. on a tram. It's a whole fucking to-do. Sleep in your car. Yeah. Uh, Where's the car? B9. Remember that. Hey, maybe if you don't drink so much all day, well, you'll remember where the car is. I might throw a couple tantrums or two. Oh, just preparing. I you. can only. Once you see how big it is of a cat like you're cook you're walking a lot oh really yeah we'll get golf cart privileges <laughs> somebody already photoshopped us on <laughs> rascal scooters <laughs> Ooh, yeah. zipping around zipping it yeah i like it gang how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire we didn't even bring in a, we didn't even bring in T-Bone? you didn't you well, didn't i got disney on a brain Ooh, man pitching that patreon i like kids a go-getter i'll tell you that right now <laughs> Uh, gang, he's a local bozo. He's a good friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> you may know him as Buttons. <laughs> Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMuffin. What's up, dudes? T-Bone. T-Bone. Dude, I can't T-Bone. wait to go to Disney. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, you take me down there. Can't bring your skateboard. No, but what I can do is get about 45 hours of the Harry Potter experience. That's uh, all I'm filming. Yeah. It's a lot. It's uh. I thought you'd be against it. Against? Fun, happy. No, we're not you, you troll. I don't, I don't know. No, I, listen, I was against it. I wasn't ever against it. I was jealous. There's a difference. I, I know. But I don't know. I feel like Toby's got some commie roots. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Toby? He was like homeschool. This kid doesn't know what's going on. Down there picketing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Big capitalism guy. Give me some of that Red Bull. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know how they had Harry Potter too. Oh yeah, they got Harry Potter, Star Wars. Yeah, I know they got Star Wars. The Avatars cooking. Or wait, is Star Avatar, Wars in LA? They have like a wild Avatar 
thing. What is that? You mean the movie? The Ride, James Cameron yeah. movie? Like an, they got that, too? Like an immerse, like something, yeah. Damn. They, got they did another one where you're like in a helicopter, kind of, and you're flying around. Ooh. And they the, the whole thing kind of moves with you. Ooh. But you're like staying still, but like I got as you. it dips, it dips. And then, like, if you could fly over the ocean, they blow in, like, cool salt air, and you feel it. Really? Dude, and they, sm- like, you'll fly over, the, like, the, the jungle, and you smell, like, grass and stuff. It's fucking, they get you all fucked up. It's like a deprivation thing. When did you go? I go weekly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went a couple of years ago. My family, my uh, my mom and stepdad like taking all the nieces and nephews down every couple of years. Can we get Mickey Mouse tattoos? Tattoos? Yeah. yeah. We can paint your face. <laughs> okay, I know we said we got to stay off premises, but they're about to launch a Star Wars hotel. We can sleep in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, dude, come on. Come on. You know how much that costs, dude? <laughs> come like, on, Kippy. Like, like, genuinely. Please. It's going to be like a $10,000 trip <laughs> that we ain't got. <laughs> Listen, you can't. Yeah. We did just set two credit cards on fire for a new computer. <laughs> sure, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I just maxed out two brand new credit cards, so kidding? T-Bone can go on Pornhub or whatever he does. <laughs> I'll be at Disney. I'll be at Disney World of Ohio. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like <in their> banks. <laughs> but we're gonna dress up on the plane on the ride down. You gotta do it. You That's gotta... what? I want to be a pilot. No, you wear like your Disney oh, stuff. Okay. You wear your ears. All fucked up at the bar. You just went generic costume. Yeah. I'm going to be a cheerleader. Be, I'm be a <laughs> I call <it> construction worker. <laughs> Ooh. Good stuff. We're yeah. having a good That'll time here. That'll be a good here. time. Good time. Family app. Kip hey, doing some time. cues. Yeah, I got some cues, guys. So as you know, when you do join up for uh, the aforementioned Patreon, we will answer your garbage question. It's just the best way to do it. But before we get into that, I got something that blew my mind. As you know, I got some of my wife's uh, German and European friends staying with us this week. Ugh, I didn't know we were talking about this publicly. Uh, okay, no, yeah. but they brought up, because we were talking about Are You Garbage and stuff like that. And then we were talking about leftovers. And, okay. And, like, you know, which is, like, the doggy bag to take the leftover box is a big, has been a big, the first probably big issue on here. You're a snob. No, I don't do leftovers. I finish my meal. That's I'm not a snob. It's not like I go do away with this food. I eat my meal. I'm an adult. I'm a grown man. And also, I'll, I'll say again, I don't know what reality you don't finish your meal in. Okay? But the Germans, what they do, they take it another level of bonkos. Take the chef home with them? <laughs> hey, buddy, hop in the you back. You get in the car. Hey, Hans, you're ours now. <laughs> You, bring it nice. Get in the car. <laughs> Scottish? That's, what... That's German all the way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me get another take. <laughs> That's the thing about Foley. He's such a patriot. He can't take he can't any other do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get in the car, God damn it. That's my German. <laughs> my Australian guy. Hey, hey, don't. <laughs> I'm Australian. So where are you from originally? <laughs> I'm going to put another the shrimp on the ate Bobby. my baby. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. You, get in the car. That's German. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little eastern, uh, far east as well. Um, no, but they, it's, uh, it's, they take their own Tupperware to the restaurant with them. And then if there's, lo- if there's leftovers, they'll put it in there. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Wait, wait. Who, <laughs> who just, does? We just the Germans just broke Foley. Who does? What do you mean? Who does? That's a common practice, or your two friends are? No, doing it's that? a common. I was talking to. With, are they doing that here? No, no, they don't do it. Oh, but I was okay. like, what's a trashy German thing? And they were um, like, we were talking about leftovers and stuff. I go, oh, it was a big one on the show. They go, oh, what a lot of Germans do is they'll take their own tup. Imagine rolling to the club with your own Tupperware. <laughs> Got lunch ready to go. <laughs> that's uh, crazy to me. If you're well, walking in the steakhouse with warped lids, that's yeah. no you, got a, you got a Cool Whip container? <laughs> Just put it in here. Cool Vip. Some European. Ah, yes, version. Cool Vip. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, Cool Vip. But it's not Cool Vip. It's meatloaf. It's Vinny Chitty. <laughs> Dude. How crazy is that? And then that's... I, I, my wife said she's like, my, fa- I've ne- my family's never done that. But they're Czech, so it's, you know, I guess... It's maybe- They're classy people. That's what it is. Sure, sure. No matter where you're from, it's garbage everywhere. Oh. That's crazy. Right? Because that's a large that's, Tupperware. That's not just like a sandwich bag. Where are you bag. putting it? Your purse, I guess. That's crazy. That's insane to me. Man. I don't know. 
Every, I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it because it takes away the um, the classy uh, image of Europe that I have now. Now I don't even know if I should go to Paris. Yeah, probably should that trip. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of that. Um, That's cuckoo. Right? Yeah. And then this one's in the same world. I don't know if we ever touched on it, but as we start going to fancier, nicer places, we're not eating at fucking Applebee's all the time. This one is... Sure. Uh, have you ever blown your nose in a cloth napkin at a restaurant? That's from Al. Yes, I have. Uh, really? Oh, I, I love it. That disgusts me so much that I might never be able to use a cloth napkin at a restaurant ever. I love it. Oh, Grab dude. one of those. Yeah, I'll take it into the bathroom with me to get a good face wash. If I work at the restaurant, I'm using those like fucking toilet paper. Oh, I God. burn through those. Oh man, I'll keep I'll, I'll keep your linen bill high. That's devastating. With me to on find the out. team, yeah, I'm bad. Love it. Love a good bar rag too. A fresh one, a dry one. They're great. Absolutely. Oh man, that's no good. Put your grizzle in there when you're chewing it. If you got to spit something back yeah, out, yeah. I mean, roll that's that jammed up. That's one thing. That's you're in a circumstance that allows you. You have to make a call. You can't be swallowing fucking. I'll stuff it. I won't like reopen it up and fold it. Like put it on the. We table know how you get with napkins, my friend. Very scrunchy with napkins. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. That's a sign of a dirt bag. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about it. I used your napkin. Yeah. 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 Scr- Didn't I- get herpes. Thank you. I have. Much. I have scrunched napkins everywhere when I'm eating. I know. Yeah. They look. St- they look like happy tissues. If you catch my drift, <laughs> stuff them all in my glass. Um, yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't do that. What else? What else irks me, especially the New York diner now, is you get you get those glasses that are supposed to be the clear plastic, but they've just been washed for like thirty five years. They're that, all scratchy. They're all scratchy and like cloudy. And then they put the water in there, and I look over and I see like an old lady with like her teeth falling out, drinking out of a cup, and I'm like, how many people? Have drank out of this cup, mm-hmm. and like I just picture like tuna fish floating in the top. I get it. You stuff. know, it's funny you mentioned. I get a fishy smell sometimes on a glass, and it cre- I can't drink the water. It creeps me out. Yeah, well, f- there's yeah. some little faint something in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like drinking the water. That's why I get diet coke. It'll fucking the bubbles will fucking sterilize the cup. I honestly, I really, and I'm not saying this to sound fucking new money or anything. But I'm kind of over the tap water at the at the right. I don't want it. I don't want those glasses. Get out of here with that. Really? Just bring me a bottle of spark. Bring me a fucking club soda. I don't like the bubbles. I'm a Love flat man still. I'm no bubble. The last couple, I'm a, a blue collar guy. I'm an American working man. The last you know? couple places that I, I worked fancy at. Fancy pants. You'll fit right in over there in Europe, you commie bastard. Yes. With your bubbles. Pellegrino, please. <laughs> Pierre. <laughs> um, last couple places I worked at. Did the did the bottles of water for the table and like old wine bottles like the Corret, like yeah or whatever yeah those things are never washed I, I mean never uh-huh. so I stay away from it I don't even fuck with the tap water anymore I'm out but really? I'll blow my nose at the table with a cloth napkin <laughs> I'll tell you that right now you draw the craziest lines I in the know, sand it's nuts it's crazy <laughs> you want to clear out and then you fold it up and you. Yeah, but then someone's got to wipe the... I'm go- I, I come in it's going to get like- steam clean. It's going to get martinized or whatever they do with it. It ain't sterile, though. And you need... If your boogers are somewhere, that thing, that thing needs to be sterilized, okay? Burn like this the room. We got to fucking... They got to come in and chemically <laughs> peel this room. Get Fauci in here. <laughs> oh, man, your bugs are everywhere. <laughs> and I don't like it. Uh, great question, though. Beautiful. Gang, let's talk about all forms. All forms. The good people at Helix. Yeah? Jumping out of the bedroom, hopping in the living room, Ooh. all form couches. Easiest way to customize your couch. Get on all form. They're getting in the game, and you won't be sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's the easiest way you can customize a sofa using premium materials at a fraction of the cost of traditional stores. They sent us one. It comes, it'll right. We got it right over here. You can't see it, but T Bone's sitting on it right now. T Bones, T Bones, he's got his feet up. Get your feet off the couch. Get your shoes off my off brand, the all form. Off my brand new all form couch. Uh, it's Call a, your father. I will put you? it together by myself. I was amazed at how easily it goes together. It's kind of bonkos. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Did it about a half hour. Really? Whole couch put together by myself. You choose. Looks sharp. Uh, Comfy too. You can do it. It's all it's all custom. You can do different color legs, different color this, an arm, a chaise lounge, a, a, an ottoman, the whole nine. Also, too, if you get a love seat and then you move to a bigger place, you can just get that additional section. Add it on to add it on. That's bada crazy. bing, bada boom. It's fantastic. Big fan of all form. Mm-hmm. Um, 
All form wants you to do their part of exclusive offers, discounts for teachers, students, military, first responders, the whole nine. They're taking care of everybody. Nice. All form also has uh, financing and flexible payment plans. Uh, so an amazing sofa is never that far away. And they even offer a forever warranty that is literally forever. To find the perfect sofa, check out allform.com slash garbage. All form is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash garbage. Do it now. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about dad grass. Love dad grass. Right? You like puffing doobies? You like getting smoked out with your boys and putting on Pink Floyd? Sure, we all do. Mm -hmm. But as you get older, you got more responsibilities. You got to pull it back a little you bit. You got to pull it back a little bit. But you like to indulge. You like to indulge. You wouldn't go home and drink a whole bottle of wine, would you? You'd have a glass. Mm -hmm. You'd enjoy yourself. And dad grass is primo stuff, man. Yeah, guys. It's uh, legal, organable, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body, mellows the mind, just takes the edge off a it little really bit. It really does. Uh, like, you know, we're big CBD guys. We've been for years. It's fantastic. I do it every day chill out without getting stones like you're having a glass of wine like the big man said i'll have one when i get home i'll have i'll have a mom grass you, yeah you pop you, you you puff them yeah uh, all dad grass products are federally legal for ages 21 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the u.s of a uh whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite dad grass will leave you in a euphoric mood right now dad grass is offering our listeners 20 percent off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash garbage Go to dadgrass.com slash garbage for 20% off your first order. One more time. Write it down because you're probably high. That's dadgrass.com slash garbage. Get a haircut. Do it. Uh, this one's from Jake Van Dam. Ever worked on a... <laughs> that, might be, that might be his real name. I don't know. <laughs> Woo, talk about a kick in the face. <laughs> He's doing a split between two tractor trailers flying down a fucking... Man, that's a fucking tight name. Yeah. Jack Van Dam. Um, ever worked on your car in a public parking lot? <laughs> that ain't a good look if you're doing that. You got you got the toolbox out. I might have watched my mom put in a headlight in an auto zone parking that's lot once or twice. That's a little different. The auto zone's a little different. You're going there. I've definitely done the light. Out there, fucking Marlboro 220 hanging out of her mouth. It's usually raining for some oh, reason. It's never yeah. a sunny day. Anytime you're at AutoZone, it's overcast. I'm right. Get out of here and help me. Yeah. Press the brake. Press <laughs> it. And you say, tell me if the light goes on. Like, hey, Tuts, we're in a fucking 88 Taurus. All right? Let's fucking junk this thing. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's a tough look. You see him in New York all the time, dudes. That's just dudes in the. It's always weird. It's a when, full blown garage in the street. Well, like some on a places, Saturday they're just doing it. They got three, four cars together. I know. Yeah, and some places do that as they're like that's their business. That's their business. Like, hey, I have this corner. I, you know, we never get the tickets, whatever. We just pay the tickets, and this is our kind of little shop. Mm -hmm. And that's very neighborhoody and stuff like that. But like, there's. There's a guy who's cash business too. Yeah, they're not taking. <laughs> they're not. No, 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 no. They're not on the square. You know what I mean? You can't swipe with them. There's no tablet. No pay. tablets over there. Yeah. Um. There's one guy in my neighborhood just like no wheels on the car, and he's always over there tinkering. Like it, it's like a broken down car, mm -hmm. but it's been there for months, and he's just tinkering. Sometimes it has wheels. Sometimes it doesn't. It's never left. And it's just like that's those car guys don't finish that shit a lot. Yeah, a lot. they don't have the money typically. Yeah. If you had the money, you wouldn't be doing it on the side of the road. You'd be, <laughs> you know what I mean? You'd have a place. <laughs> typically, it's like oh, I'm going to buy this old thing and I'm going to get it together. Yeah, like You're that. never going to do it. No. That's coming from like like my stepdad. Be like, oh, I'm going to redo it. You know, you're not. She's going to be bitching at you in a couple of months because it's out in the lawn with a tarp over the hood. Uh huh. Yeah. You're just hemmed up waiting on a little bit of scratch for a carburetor yeah. or something. Yeah. And those things, man. Those cars like that when they're hanging around, those things are fucking Hornet magnets. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I, You'll find a fucking Hornet Disney World on one of those things. Uh -huh. They yeah. are frightening. Yeah. I don't know if I told you when I went back when I picked up. I had the Montego was at my mom's house for a long time. I went back to get it, man. That thing. <laughs> Hornets all over the trunk, in the fucking in the tail lights. Hey, where I was just fuck. I was spraying from like fifty feet away with raid. Yeah, it was bad. They were everywhere. Fucking going to war. The empty <laughs> ones too. They were like all tucked in the corners. Fuck that. 
I might as well be paying the insurance on that. Wait, thing. what empty ones? Like they would like had like populated different ones, and there was like already empty ones when I. <laughs> oh yeah. my god! They could do. It looked like a scene from Star Wars, dude. They flew out of the fucking out of the keyhole at me. They were already renovating. Oh man! Who's yeah. a city planner? Huh? This guy's killing it. It was the queen, I think. Yikes! Yeah, yeah I don't like that around. shit. I've done battle with those a couple of times with my dad. Cause he had a fucking he he had a, he had an old Mustang that sat on the side of our garage for a while, yeah. and that thing. Collapsed. You got a perfect driveway for a shitty car to be on that side. Oh, little. That's, it's beautiful because it's raised up a little bit. It's you can just up, see the hood, and it's not in the front of the house. It's on the side. Yeah. It's like that house came with a beat up Chevelle. <laughs> yeah, like, red body with a blue hood. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh huh. Like the front's up on those two little ramps. <laughs> So you can get under it. Those things are trash. The kids are always playing in it. Yeah. Playing family and driving in the uh-huh, car. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's garbage. But yeah, yeah he, fucking one of those collected. It was like a superstructure. I'm dead at a fucking CVS and a Starbucks. This <laughs> hornet's nest was fucking bonkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. fucking pulled, pulled the car up with the windows down with like three or four cans of Raid. Just cracked sh- the window, fucking opened up Fumigated. on them. Oh, man. Uh-huh. Cleaning house. Felt like McNamara. <laughs> <laughs> Taking them to task. <laughs> um, I, uh, we had, uh, this was not too long ago. This wasn't like the 90s or early 2000s. This was, the show was probably happening. And we had, my stepdad had, he had a Suburban. It must have been like a 98, like a 1998 Suburban. And he thought this thing was like fucking Air Force One. He was like, when nobody was allowed to drive, first of all, I'm like, dude, the paint was chipping, and he had left it for so long. Those things didn't age well. No. Those suburban. It, was the, it wasn't even the rounded edges. It, it was, was the, they, the, no, it, it was before they really made it. Aesthetically. For, like, people to ball out in it. Yes. it was it, That was, was for function. towing fucking horse carriages. Yeah. Or horse trailers. And we didn't have any horse. horses. Yeah. Was for towing that or fucking go karts or mm-hmm. something like that. This thing went bad fucking quick, dude. It had like one flat tire, and then like within three days, the other three went flat. It was just sitting there. And my mom's like, "You gotta fucking move this thing." It was bad news. Dude, a car with a flat tire in your driveway. Wait, is... This thing had four flat tires <laughs> and was sitting in our driveway recently. Really? Yeah. Not a good look. The home of the the coldest, the people, the other people in the cul-de-sac were writing letters. A buddy of mine. Ah. Uh... New people moved in uh, next door to him. They parked a bus on the lawn. Ooh. Not like a school bus either. It was like a school bus that they painted. It yeah. Like, it looked like the Partridge Family bus. It was all different. Wow. A tough look. That's not something you take out. If you took it out every day, I'd be like, well, it's at least it's not there. If you, Just if you drove there. it to work. Imagine a hornet's in that thing. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Driving it to school. <laughs> Those things don't yeah. fuck around. They're all he, tripping balls. He was <laughs> freaking out too. Yeah, because that that's that'll fucking, that'll knock the whole fucking that, the whole zip code goes down. Oh man, property value by bio. I remember out one the door one time this guy uh, in my dad's neighborhood growing up he had uh, school buses parked in the street like he like bought a couple of them at like auction or something. Guy was real fucking cocking. Who does that? Real out there. And they were like, "Hey, man, you gotta, you gotta move your buses. This is crazy. Like, you just have three school buses, part and like his prop, like his, you know, his. What was he doing with them? Nothing. Who? No, obviously nothing. People. These guys just bought him to have them. I guess he was probably planning something. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, kidnapping a bunch of kids. So, uh, <laughs> do you remember that movie? Getting a whole middle school at once, trying to get a stuntman career off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty-two more buses are going to make the jump. <laughs> You remember jumping out of the back of that when they do the drills? Oh, man. Uh, you, you felt, felt like you were <laughs> Johnny. Dude, I, whew, I thought I was jumping out of a fucking C-130. <laughs> I had my chute. I throw it first. Boom. <laughs> out the back. You felt like a construction worker. You felt like a stuntman. You felt like everything. Fucking Navy SEAL. <laughs> I got a dog strapped to me with goggles on. <laughs> There's a fa- you're strapped to a fatter guy. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> um. My yeah. one bus driver was a Viet- an old Vietnam vet, too. They so. all were back in then. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was the only job. That mailman. Uh, he got into it, too, man. Oh, yeah. Fucking Had a bandana sh- on, probably. <laughs> Hit the ground, roll. <laughs> <laughs> Head right to the brush. Now imagine there's Agent Orange everywhere. You're like, what the fuck? First thing you want to do when you hit the ground is clear the LZ. What? <laughs> Good luck on that bus if your name's Charlie. <laughs> 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 He's looking. He's, he's just staring at Charlie in the mirror. Those big mirrors. 
<laughs> there easy does it. There easy does it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call you Charles. <laughs> oh. From now on, your name's Nathaniel Victor. <laughs> <clears throat> oh God, that's, mm. that's a good piece of business. Um, so what happened to the buses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, did you did you have safeties? We had it like a, you were like could be like a bus safety when you were. You mean rats? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were in sixth grade. Yeah, well, those kids. When our elementary school went first to six, and then junior high was seventh, eighth, ninth, and then high school tenth, eleventh, twelfth. But that's Boncos. We went ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. They changed it when that's I. That's the way to go. They changed it when I was in. Well, it was populated. They they couldn't fit all in the I school. I know. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. Once they built the second school and I was in like 10th grade or whatever, that they then changed it to a, the best. a proper night. when you're a one. freshman and you see a senior walking through the hall, whew, man. Are we talking guys or girls? <laughs> I was talking ladies, but the boys weren't nothing to shake a stick oh, at. Oh, man. Tight I was sick in high school. I tell you, there was a couple of guys that were fucking cool as shit. Um, but you could be the bus. Sa- you were a bus safety and you had like a badge or whatever. <laughs> Real cool. Sig nine. <laughs> Everybody down. <laughs> yeah, I, I I was tough but fair. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody had to kick up a little bit too. You walking around like John C. Riley and fucking <laughs> gangs of New York. Put another notch oh. on my stick. <laughs> ah, what are you doing there, boys? Uh, How was that? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> a little corrupt. That was German. <laughs> I know. Taking money from the lunch lady. Oh yeah. Hey. For sure. Hey, I'll talk to the driver, see if you can stop at your place first. You know what I mean? That kind of <laughs> stuff. I'll see what I can do. Can't make any promises. Randy, let me ask you a question. You like walking home at night in the rain? Huh? It gets a little scary out there. I think I can make that happen for you. A bag you. of Big League Chew made me look the other way. Hey, where'd you get the Shake money down for time, boys. Shake down time. <laughs> Kippy's here. I don't want it all, just the taste. I'm a fair man at the end of the day. <laughs> Yeah, I we mean, all gotta eat. I applied, but they would. I never. You was, didn't get it. No, nah, I wasn't able to do that. Shit. Didn't pass the psych exam <laughs> <laughs> or the piss test, probably. <laughs> it kicked me off the force. <laughs> all I ever wanted to do was be a safety officer, <laughs> and they kicked me off the force, man. You were like that mutant in Three Hundred that tried to be part of. <laughs> you end up turning fucking snitching on everybody. <laughs> I know the way. I know the way. To do it. <laughs> Started. Raise your shield, boy. You're like, I started my own private company. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing stuff overseas. Private contractor. <laughs> Blackwater shit. Halliburton. Fatwater. Fatwater kind of stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> no, nah, never a safety guy. Safety officer. The badges were pretty tight. Ours I'm was, not going to lie. Yeah, orange strap and a badge. Yeah, no badge, just the strap. Oh, we had the badges. Uh, yeah, they no. were metal, too, back Rebo- then. This was the, the, fuck? This was the 80s, we're, we're bro. We the Wild West. <laughs> what the fuck? It was the 80s. They were metal. Yeah. Damn. You could scare somebody one of those. Yeah, flash the steel on them. <laughs> Everybody up against the wall. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get into some questions. Well, we've been doing questions. What oh, are you talking have? about? Oh, man, you're Having fucking a good time. You're cuckoo today. Cuckoo bananas. Yeah. How are things at home? Low flow shower head finally installed? Because <laughs> you're wolfing over there. Am I? Am I wolfing? Yeah, you, got some, you got some flop to you. There's no product. You're typically a product guy. I'm usually a product guy. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's a little, uh, yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. You kind of tr- You kind of look like Costanza when he gets the toupee. Really? Correction, I was bald. <laughs> That's what you got going on right now. A little bit. It comes out and in real quick. You can't see where it hits your head. I'm in a transition. What do you want from me? I tried to wear a but- but- short sleeve button down, but I got told I couldn't wear it because I got sweatpants on. Apparently sweatpants and a trip. Yeah, the little cost shirt goes real well with the sweats. I thought it looked better, though, right? It looks better with the sweats. What a pair of jeans. Nah. It'll make you feel better. I'm telling you. Man, They're coming to work. I, it, listen, it doesn't make me feel better. I like our routine. I, I, I don't know. What's I don't, our routine? This coming in here. Yeah, okay. I like it. I like how I like having my comfy clothes on and, 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 and coming in and doing yeah. the pot. But I don't, if, I, if I had a spot later tonight, which I do not, I would, I would have a pair of joggers on. Which are sweatpants with a mustache. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are we talking about here? Throw a monocle on a pair of sweats and call it a day. They're khakis with uh, elastic, elastic yeah. and sweatpant material. They're the greatest pant ever made. Sure, sure. The cargo jogger is, I mean, you'll be burying me in those. Hopefully later than sooner. <laughs> 
Didn't sound confident. Uh, that. I mean, you know. All right. Um, let's see here. Hit me. This one has to do with the car, and we've talked about this before, but this is from Jeffrey. Um, will you put the little tree air freshener on the mirror without replacing the other one? Do you have multiple no, trees up no, there? No, I can't do that. That's a That's a very religious thing for me is that you go get the car washed and then you switch out you get the tree. The new one. But I, but I want to say now I, I am all tree all the time. That's the only air freshener in a car that I would ever use is that of I'm not doing the fucking the glades that plug into the fucking window or no. plug into the fans. They did have these plugins for the fans. That was just like a little stick. Those aren't bad, but when you want power and you want to feel good the, the scents they come up with that that tree company they're pretty good. They're on. They and know it, what they're doing, and it's very nostalgic for me. Like I put a cherry one of those on. Woo! I'm riding around with my cousin Flo in his fucking Pontiac Grand Dam. You have a cousin Flo? Yeah, his name's his nickname's Flo. What's his first name? Joe. Joe Flo. Joe Flo. Sounds like a real cool guy. Joe Flo Flaherty. Shout out to him. Whoa! Yeah, fucking basketball. What's player. up? I'm Joe Flo Flaherty. Kid was a rock star back yeah. in the day. What's he do now? Uh, it does good. Family, whole nine yards. He's older now. He was, he was probably like 10 years older than me. He was my introduction to cool when I was a kid. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? See, it didn't stick. <laughs> <laughs> with my sweatpants. With, with your toupee, your, your polo, and your sweatpants. Yeah, he was much cooler than me. But yeah, fucking all, all the boys always had trees. Everybody had trees. Trees are big. Then. And what I did for the first time ever, as you know, I got the Kia, brand new, 2021, about 6,000 miles on it. Mm-hmm. Um, I... I don't want it to become like every car I've ever had, where like I don't eat in it. I haven't smoked a Bernie in it yet. I've been pretty good. I'm surprised you've held out this long. You we but you we do eat in it. You let not we, we don't eat like which, you can get like pretzels or something. We're not eating meals. We're not going to the drive through. Well, we're not it, eating sandwiches. It's funny you mentioned that because when I think we, I let you guys have bagels one time because we were already it was late. bacon egg and cheese as we were driving to New Brunswick, which I didn't eat out of respect because we were already late. Like but that's why I fucking said it. That's why I allowed it, because gotcha. we're already late. All but right. we're not doing drives. We're not doing, like, What does the tree have to do with any of this? Because, do you know the way you're supposed to use a tree? Oh, just slide down That's the thing? That's what I've been doing. And what? it's not bad. Wait, so you have the, you have the package No, you, I tell you, you put it under the seat. You take it. You're only supposed to... Nah, fuck that. You're Full supposed tree to, on no, the you're mirror. supposed to cut the top and, like, pull it out, like, an inch. And then let that, and then pull it out after like a few weeks. Pull it out again. Pull it like I'm telling you. I like it in overdrive. Yeah, that's, I want it. In I, that's, my I'm face. trying not to do that because you can never bounce back from. You also got a lot of Bernies to cover. I'm not covering anything up. That's what I'm saying. I don't need. I still have my. I still have new car smell, mm-hmm. which I don't want to lose either. Hmm. You know. So I'm trying to keep. Uh, I'm trying to keep it a little bit. You got a. You got a lot of stuff you got to fight back against. That's the True. problem. Your bo. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's probably the worst. Uh, the Bernies. I don't make a tree for that. The Bernies and all the food in there. Sure. So you're, well, you not know, these days. You're going toe to toe with. I'm going toe to toe. I'm going to toe to toe with the Mucinex guy. He's in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of a lot of bugs under that seat. But too, even if sure. I didn't, I would be fucking full. I want the full blast of it. I'm, t- I'm gonna get a new one in a week or two. It gives a shit. Sure. Keep it running tight. I'm saying, but you've also never had a car where you haven't eaten or smoked in it. So you don't know that you don't need that you don't need to fucking carpet bomb that thing with fucking black ice. Okay, that's what I'm telling Ooh, you. Black ice, a gentleman. Yeah, I think I'm a tropical. So I go light green. You typically, do sometimes lemon. I love a tropical. You know what I loved? I don't know if they make them anymore, but Lifesavers used to make a tropical pack. You remember that? What am I a fucking jerk off? Oh, and the, yeah. the, the, there was always that one coconut one in there. Yeah, you get Ugh. like two coconut ones in the <sighs> fuck. There, there was like a light. You felt purple. like you were in the islands. There was a light purple that would blow your fucking <laughs> hair back in that thing. I don't where, know, where are those things? I don't know what it was, but it was fucking. What they get canceled? What have top notch? <laughs> what they say? <laughs> the fuck did tropical lifesavers ever do to anybody? Bring <laughs> them back. That's probably part of the problem around here. Mm-hmm. Got to be cool again. Kip. Yeah. This one right here? What's that? It's a good people at Roman. Roman. Remember how you used to talk about ED back in the day? Be a whisper with Roman. Now it's out there. It's out there, baby. All right. Taking care of it. They're here to help. If you got a problem, you got to fix it. If something was wrong in the house, you wouldn't just leave it. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't just let the, the, the pipes in the sink just shoot out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
you would take care of it. Now with Roman, you can do it in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, they're like the National Guard for boners. You That's know? right. <laughs> they take care of it. First man on the line. <laughs> with Roman, you get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for your ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your own home. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find out the best treatment plan and if medication is appropriate. It ships right to you with a free two-day shipping. They're not just spitting them out. If you need it, you you get it. It's easy easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash garbage. Complete the online visit. Um, you'll get everything you needed. Ship straight to your door. Go to GetRoman.com slash garbage. Right now, you'll get 15 bucks off your first month. Nice. Talking cold, hard cash. 15 bucks off your first month. First month. It's really time to take care of your ED. And remember, get started today, and you'll save 15 bucks off your first order of ED treatment. Do it. Kid, let's talk about those good people at Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post? The cool guys. Woo, cool guy stuff. That's what they are. They're cool guys and cool gals that make cool guy and gal stuff, and it's fantastic. Yeah. Of course, they're talking about the Box of Awesome. Woo. Now, you've heard us mention this product on this, on this, on this here program. Mm-hmm. All right? But the fall's in season now. So what you want to do is you want to get a box of awesome, get yourself set up. Could be outdoor stuff. It could be home bar stuff. It could be grooming supplies. Or clothes. They do it all. Yeah. To get started, just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome. They want to know what you like. And they're going to send you a bunch of stuff. It's free to sign up. You can skip a month at any time. Cancel. Best part about it. Where to get you. Each box only costs 45 bucks. Seventy dollars worth of gear. That's screwballs. You're getting twice your money. You're losing money. Have to get the box of awesome. What are we doing? Cool stuff too. Um, plus, with each box of awesome, you're some more. You're, this is my favorite part. You're supporting small businesses because ninety yeah. percent of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up and coming brand. You're helping out the little guy. I bet you the person that uh, like uh, you know puts all that together. The is curator. Re- really cool. Yeah. Shopping these little small cool stores. Stuff. Yeah. Do things well made, nice. Mm-hmm. So get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code garbage for 20% off your first box. Do it now. Back to the show. The show. Um, this one I don't know. I we might have talked about something along the lines. This is from Saul. I haven't had a question read yet. Have you ever had a little, or, you know, also, too, if you're in the position now, if you're having a, a gathering at the house, would you run out of spoons and forks? How many do you got going? Like, what, how, if you were having a dinner. What am I, a fucking catering company? <laughs> I got four forks, yeah. four knives, four good spoons, and we have, well, we, we, we have an abundance of plates. But that was an Amazon thing. They sent us one, and one was chipped. So they just fucking send you another yeah, buy. Yeah, they're not sending you one. They're sending yeah. you a box of eight. Fucking Bezos is zipping around the fucking solar system. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know how they make money. Wait till Kippy gets out there. <laughs> um. Yeah, we were probably we got like the one. I'm, I'm sorry. Are we talking? We're not talking about my parents. We're talking about my place. Your place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your parent. I mean, dude, you go look at my my mom has like ten thousand forks and knives. My mom could feed the National Guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. I know. And then I look at mine, and there's like I'm like missing a knife. There's like a mismatched fork in there yeah. that looks like I stole it from a fucking a college cafeteria. I don't know where the fuck this thing came from. Are you a little fork guy or a big fork guy? Big fork. Big little fork. spoon, typically. On cereal, little spoon. You I'm go not a big cereal guy. I, if a cereal, I'll go big spoon. But everything else. What I'm about like, icy keem? Little spoon. I'll go little spoon. I think. Take I my go time big spoon for it. ice cream. Little spoon. Also, for you me. never say icy cream to me ever again. <laughs> I can't not your fucking anything. cat or your girlfriend, please. <laughs> I'm your boss, and I will be respected as such. <laughs> How the fuck am I ever going to get to space when I got you saying icy cream? Come on. I go little spoon for yogurt. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'd be done in a second if you fucking. <laughs> Surprised you're not mainlining it, to be honest with you. I go soup ladle for cereal. We've talked about it in the past, but I remember my dad would make a bowl, a Tupperware thing, a special K. Dude, my favorite thing to eat cereal out of is not a cereal bowl. It's some other thing. It's an in-ground pool. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get the milk in there? Huh? Yeah, t- How- those things are great. Mixing bowl. And just crush like a fucking huge thing of Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't like that. I like going to multiple bowls. I like dancing with the devil of a little bit of more, you know. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Keeps it interesting. Is this one going to be too too crunchy? Is it going to be too soggy? Will, you mix, will you mix the cereals? We've talked about this maybe. I, Would you? 
Yeah, but I always hated it because it meant there was not m- enough left of something, so you got all the crumbs and Dude, the dust. I love the crumbs and the no, dust. No, that's not for me. What? I like a whole flake of something. Oh, the fucking bottom of the cereal box is the best? No, no Toby? No. What? No. Now, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Stop the show. You think you know somebody. What about me this says is, this, I like crumbs at the bottom this of This is going to sh- cause uh, a riff in the fucking in the Bozo Army. Bring it on. I'm telling you right now. Toby, hit my camera. Somebody goes, I also love the kid because Toby hit my camera and he never hits his camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Toby, hit me. That's, I thought that was a universal fact that everybody loves the last five, especially sugar cereal. You're getting like eight more grams no. in there. Uh, I don't like that. I just really? want this. I want the cereal as the manufacturer intended it, whole flakes or whatever. I don't need all the fucking du- it's dust. And oh, then the the milk love. gets milk feels like it's like sandy water. What are we doing? Ah, oh, it thickens it up a little bit. It becomes no. like a stew. Oh, love that. God. I love that. Oh man. But back, mixing backcourt ser- doesn't stand a chance. The, the, sure the it way does. you talk about milky <laughs> fucking cereal milk. Ah, oh, it turns into a stew. How is that supposed to be more appetizing? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know that sugary treat you're having for breakfast? It reminds me of a stew. Yeah. A nice goulash. Ooh, now you're talking. Mm-hmm. Goulash cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes gazpacho. Oh. <laughs> um, this one, this goes into something that you relatively talk about uh, that you bring up. Uh, like well, like stupid human tricks or whatever. Like you have a question about that. Did anybody in your family do this? The double joint? Can you that, pick things up with your toes? That or kind of stuff. Play the piano with your toes. Which yeah. I don't think we've ever talked about this. This is from Kemper. Do you have a skill like flipping your eyelids inside out? <laughs> Remember that kid? Ooh, that kid drove at the back of the bus for sure. He didn't finish college. No. No. He could flip his eyelids inside out. Yeah. And he would just deep like turn around like, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn. Yeah, give me a heads up if you're doing that shit. Yeah. Same kid can make himself fart, too. Jack of all trades, if you ask me. Real ladies, man. <laughs> he was du- he was double jointed. He could put his arm back like that. He could flip his eyelids. He could gleek, which we've I think we've we Oh, went. was that the shoot when, the Yeah, when you shoot, shoot the, the saliva out of your thing? Yeah. That's fucking that was like that was like a superpower. <laughs> I don't think I had any friends school. that could do it. We knew a kid. My buddy so we gleeked. You know, when we went, we went through a gleeking phase. Stop saying, I don't, first of all, no one even says, like, I'm a gleeker. We went through a gleeking phase where we, whatever that was going on. Whatever, what do you mean? When it was hot in the streets? <laughs> whatever. What are you talking? You know, everybody, every movie was talking about. When we about discovered it. it, whatever age it was. When that was going on. You remember it was all light, lights and gleeking? <laughs> yeah. Every, my mom was gleeking. Run DMC that. was the music on the street. Yeah. And we were a pack of gleekers. <laughs> There was Joey the Gleek, Tommy the Gleek, Mikey the Gleek, and me. Jimmy Gleek. Anyway, my buddy at the time said sure. that he used to go to school. we heard you don't Gleek no more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I'm Gleeking. <laughs> I swear, I Gleek this weekend. He told a tale of a kid that he used to take the bus with that could do it in a constant stream. Which we all thought he was lying. Well, that's like and that's then, like the Richard Gear gerbil thing. No. Fast forward five years. I met said Gleeker. We're in high school. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. We're all smoked up, driving around. <laughs> gleek, 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 gleek. This kid just happened to be in the car with his mom getting gas. And fucking my buddy freaked out. He's like, this is the fucking kid I told you about. And he did it right in front of us. Oh, man. That was the greatest day of my life. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a great town you came from. <laughs> He's now the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> and with your help, I'll gleek for this whole city. Uh, this one's a home run. Alan, uh, did your family do family newsletters? No. Yeah. No. 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 And if we, do we a lot f- of gossip on phone calls, but never a family newsletter. Oh, forget it. My mom's back there yapping like three barbers. I what do know. you mean? Smoking Bernies and talking medical stuff. My mom. Who's got what? Who's this? Where are they going? Nisi and my Aunt Patty talk probably every day, and they're just, I'm assuming, just, Tell me did you hear, about my hair. did you whatever, did you, oh, yeah. I heard, I haven't heard back, I don't know. You had smoke some hey. coffee into that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it drives my dad crazy. She's always walking around <laughs> yapping on the phone. But no, we didn't do that shit, and we would, we would generally make fun of the long laundry, laundry list that we would get around Christmas time. From, you know, one bozo or the other. What do you mean laundry list? You would actually get a paper? 
No, like, uh, you know, when people send, like, the what's going on in their lives at Christmas time. Oh, I've never gotten that. Really? No. Like a family update that comes with, like, the Christmas card. So I have to let everybody know Johnny's doing football and Tony's doing this and blah, blah, blah. You didn't do that? Uh-uh. Really? What about you? No, 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 no. That no. sounds like a family newsletter to me. That's what I would assume is. A... We didn't send it. People would send it to us. Sure, but yeah, regardless, I'm saying. It's that's... called something. I just can't think of it. Your Christmas card, whatever it is. I don't understand what a Christmas card is. Yeah. yeah. But it... I've never received one. A picture of the by... family and then like a, a note of what, what's going on yeah, in their they're lives. they're standing on a beach or something, you know. We'd put them all up on our front door. Is that trashy? The Christmas cards we got from people, my mom always taped them to the we, front we door. We put them around something, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Real trash. And throw them out Man. on the first. Yeah. <laughs> the 26. <laughs> Hit the bricks. You do that? <clears throat> I don't think so. We put Did them you on do the... Christmas? What the fuck? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pilgrim, right? What are you doing? <laughs> This is maybe the most insulting thing that's ever been asked of me on this show. Uh, he's got that wooden wheel and stick <laughs> out in the yard the making Magna candles. Carta, what's it called? <laughs> the Magna. That Carta. thing you mean? No. No, he's talking about the old timey like you see Amish kids hitting the wheel with the uh, stick. Yeah. That reminds me, somebody. I want to do devils. I'm going to order a pair of devil sticks. <laughs> Bring back my fucking my rain. They're going to say double eggs. I'm about to jump on board. <laughs> I got mine on me. <laughs> Um, all right, this one is from Uncle Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are. Woo, get that kid a scholarship right uh, now. That's fucking genius. That'll get you gleeking for sure. Uncle Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh, man. How about that? All right, from Uncle CB. Uh, did you ever wash a suit in the washing machine because you didn't have time to take it to the dry cleaner? Holy shit! Well, let me tell you, don't do it. No, it's not it, gonna. It's not gonna come out it right. It fucks it up so bad. Yeah, never. It looks never, like you're never, wearing never. a suit made out of sweatpants. Bad, tough look. Um, not not good look at all. Yeah, never. You can't do it. It's not. It's not meant for that. And I. I'm also not a big dry clean guy, but you got to dry clean a suit. I love a dry clean. You're not a dry clean guy. If I could afford it and had one clothes, I'd get everything dry cleaned. I love the dry cleaner. Like your tees? Like, I don't understand. I'd what? love to get my tees dry cleaned. I'd love yeah. to have that. No, I don't Keep everything like nice that. and tight. A little starch, too. First I'm of all, it's a little too tight to begin with. Taut, fresh, crisp. So I wouldn't have the, 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 the forehead lines on my, on, on my T-shirts. Forehead lines? You know, the wrinkle lines. You don't call them four. They also ones? go away when you wash it. And I know, but th they instantly. I like how he didn't defend himself. No, I know. I just don't want it instantly. You showed up today with them already with it already rinkied up. No, because I rode in the car. This is a clean shirt. I don't think so. He's right. It's clean. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said on the Patreon, they're like, "Kippy could give a seminar on how to speak fully." <laughs> <laughs> I like to lie. Oh, yeah. Um, <sighs> yes. All right. This one's from Kyle. Uh, I don't even know. This is, this goes back with the thing. This one's from Kyle. Have you ever brought your own cake to a restaurant for birthday dinner? Okay. Here's the thing with that. I it's guess not garbage. The, I, it's not garbage. The fucking restaurants don't have fucking whole cakes. And if they do, they're going to charge you by the slice and bang you out because fucking uh, Callahan's or someplace up here did that. Uh, we, we did a, a birthday for my brother right there. We forgot to get a cake or something. And we're like, do you have a cake? And it was like $150 for a fucking cheesecake. Yeah, probably eight bucks a slice. Or whatever. Yeah, fucking crush you. I don't think it's classy. It's not classy. It's classy because it's I worked at nice joints and classy people would come in for a birthday dinner and they would get there early and they would say, here's the cake, put it in the fridge. We'll let you know when to bring it out. Here's the candles. So when you come and take the dessert order and, and all that stuff and you're ready to serve dessert, you just bring that out. It's nice. I understand. I'm not saying it's classy, though. I have a caveat. I'm not, I don't think it's trashy. If you get a private room. I think it's acceptable. If you're just at a regular, they're yeah, pushing tables it, together. And it's got to be how many in the back. It's got to be how many people too. Wait, why? I don't understand. 
What do you mean? What's wrong? You're making a reservation. You make it sound like you're coming in off a bus. Like, and it's a half-eaten cake. Well, if you bring it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's dangerous. That slice was already out of that cake. <laughs> Goddamn bus boys eating the cake back there. They only sold me nine donuts. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, yeah. I think there's a number of people you can. You can't do that with four people. It's got to be an event, I feel. I don't think if you're having a birthday dinner with you and like four like people or whatever, I that's got to be like 10, 12 people. I'm talking. First of all, it's got to be a party. Let me say this. I don't know if I really believe this, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Foleyville. If you're an adult and you're going out to dinner with like, I don't care if it's six people. Mm -hmm. the, the, the most classy move is, hey, can you put a candle in his dessert? Whatever he will just bring him whatever. And put a candle in it. It's a, it's that's a single what candle. That's what I'm saying. So but bringing it, your own cake is... The, I'm not saying it's trashy, but I'm saying it's not clear. The classy thing is to do, the reserved thing is, hey, listen, bring them the whatever slice of whatever you have. Everybody's got something that they do for birthday. Real subtle. One candle, you know, just maybe a, if you, whatever. That's the, what, that's the classy way to do it. Wait, we're not talking about singing happy birthday, are we? No. Oh, okay, because that's is, fucking trash. Yeah, this is just the cake. But also, too, if you're bringing a cake... I'm assuming you're going to do the happy birthday. That's that goes hand in hand. Now, with hold me. on. That's what I'm saying. If it's a grandparent, and it's typically like upstairs at a fucking Irish pub or something. If it's, it's a, trash. If it's a grandparent, I'm, I'm, I'm flip flopping on this. It's trash. If it's I was a, trying to give it to you. If it's a grandparent and there's kids involved, yeah, you might have to sing happy birthday. That's a little different. It's a little different. But I'm if, saying no. So you're saying you're going adults. You're going like five couples. All right. Six couples. Twelve people. You, I don't think you should sing happy birthday. Of course not. And to me, the classy thing is, hey, it's his birthday. Do whatever you do, super stuff. Don't bring out the, the happy, happy birthday. Like, just bring him a cake with Those a Those sparklers on. shooting up. That's too what much. Are you doing? Unless you're popping bottles what in fucking you... One Oak or something. <laughs> <laughs> Start with straight shots and then pop bottles. Um, yeah, no, it's trash. It's trash. I flip-flopped on this. It's trash. You shouldn't do it. I mean, if you do whatever, it's a good time. The separate room does give you a little bit more leeway of like, hey, this is our space. We're doing our own thing aside from the restaurant. I think you're crazy. And it's got to be at least 10 people. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And some of the most classy joints I ever worked in with like wealthy people. That that's doesn't what, mean they're classy. You can go all this. You say this all the time. I'm saying they work. I, I, listen, I'm saying they work. They work. And I'm classy. saying if they're bringing Not the, because they're wealthy, how many but they people, work. Though? How many people though? Could be 10. They brought in a strawberry shortcake from fucking, I don't know, some bakery. Some Shoprite? Fit, some no, I'm not talking about a sheet cake from Shoprite. I am, cause they ain't too shabby. <laughs> uh, it's an everyday cake. I'm, yeah, I'm not saying people don't. I don't know. It's not the classiest way to do it. Put it that way. Give me that. It ain't the classiest way to go about it. It's not. It's for sure not the classiest way to go about it. Classiest way about it. Everybody orders off the menu. If you're picking up the bill because it's your wife's birthday, that's what it is. You don't worry about the fucking money. You also don't bring in a fucking sheet cake. From, you know, fucking the cake boss or whatever. I just thought of something. Well, hit it. Hit it. Don't hold out. I just you thought can't. of something. Come over to the dark side. Well, we recently had a birthday. We celebrated my mother's 70th. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Patty. We Happy love you. birthday, P. Mayo. Shout out. I'll be in your DMs. We enjoyed a nice meal. Might as have to cut that. As a family. Uh-huh. Uh, what establishment? The Joseph Ambler Inn. Okay. In uh, in our neck of the woods. Nice? I don't know it. Delicious. Beautiful. Yeah, it was nice. One of those old places. You know, like... Like the Blue Bell Inn or the William Penn Inn or one of, you know, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old colonial-esque style. Exactly. Of That's exactly what it gotcha. was. Gotcha. We did have a private room mm -hmm. for that. We did uh, just order desserts and then just put a candle in it. We did sing happy birthday because the kids are involved. Private room also? Yep. That's kids different. are involved. However... What'd you do? In this conversation uh -huh. that we're having here... Yes. ...sparked a memory... Hit it. ...that I may have tried to bury... Oh, boy. That reflects poorly on the Foley's. Oh, God. I do believe. I do declare. That some special glasses were brought, some birthday glasses. And a request was made to the server. Hey, can you make these drinks in these glasses these, for her birthday? What is a birthday glass? Like a, gla like a plastic cup oh. or a plastic glass with like happy birthday written plastic on cup. it. Plastic cup. Don't try to... Class it up with plastic glass. That's counterintuitive. It might have had a stem on it. It's I'm not sure. It's a plastic cup that said, like, happy birthday, Patty, or something. Something like that. Oh, 
know, they got it like discountmugs.com where we got our koozies that are available. Check the link in the description. That's bad. Uh, that is trash. I remember somebody asked. Did it say, like, I got plots that Patty's birthday or what at Patty's party? Some sort of trashy alliteration. Hey, I got plots that Patty's party. I remember that. We're going to need said cup for the set, by the way. Tootie's going to need to wet her beak on a cup. I think we could probably procure that, I would assume. It's in one of the two homes, Mm -hmm. I believe. Two homes? It's either my brother's or or my mom's. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, that's a tough look. People that are doing that are also doing the cake. That ain't good. You brought them in and took them out? Yeah. Oh, maybe they did leave them there. No, no way they left them there. What do you? Th- I'm gonna go over to your house for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> Fucking dirt bags. <laughs> uh, remember that when you went over to your buddy's house to eat and they had glasses that didn't match and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Like the worn down movies cup and shit, with all the paint got washed off in the dishwasher. I'm drinking a warm Pepsi out of a coffee mug. <laughs> hey, what's your dad? Not do? Yeah. What's your dad do again? Not quite enough Pepsi fits in a mug too. That's a, oh. it's about 15 oh, mugs you need to get to a Sammy. Man. <laughs> if I'm eating pizza and you give me a mug full of fucking uh, Coke, I'm going straight out might of the as well bottle. Might be a shot glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's not fucking tough. Working. Look, drinking soda out of a coffee mug. You only get like two tree cubes of ice in there though. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Talking about cakes, I feel like we'd all be in agreement on this that the trashiest cake you could get is the one where they print the photo on it. Yes, to me, yes, yes. Well, if you're like eating, unless you, you died. <laughs> all right, I'll give you that. That's but still, de- that's de- de- that's dead guy. But cake. still, you you died tragically. Yes, of course. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. of natural causes. Yeah, you died tragically. That's dead guy's cake. To have that cake, if your yeah. face is ever printed on a cake, it didn't. It was a closed cast. If I make sure, <laughs> <laughs> if I die, make sure they don't put my face on anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't want my face on anything like that. I don't want a T-shirt. I don't want nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't care what it is. Definitely not a cake. Because, first of all, they stink, too. And it took them a couple it's years. It's always like, who eats, who wants to eat a dead guy's ear? It you know did, what I mean? <laughs> it took, I got the eyeballs. It took them a couple of years because for a while, they were just like a thin sheet of paper that was over it that you just ate mm-hmm. and pretended like you weren't eating printer paper. Yeah. <laughs> so a fucking inkjet carrot cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Sorry, your cake's all fucked up. We ran out of toner. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. going to say, extra toner for me. <laughs> Why is this one in black and white? We ran out of magenta. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, th- th- I'm i not a big fan of that at all. No. Yeah, you can't do that. No. You go classic cake. But I'll tell you what, a classic grocery store cake. I think we talked about this with Chrissy D, maybe. <sighs> yeah, fucking Hold right on. up the middle. Ugh. Right up the middle. I don't hate it. Vanilla good. icing and the chocolate. That's all we ever got. That's all we ever Nobody got. ever went to My a mom bakery. made them. My mom made them. My mom would make them, too. But, like, if we were buying a cake, especially, like, as we got older, my mom's like, oh, if I'm, like, 16 and we're just going to, like, have, like, a barbecue or whatever, she wasn't making a cake. Uh, one, because I didn't like it, so she would just buy, like, a fucking sheet cake. Chicken finger cake? <laughs> <laughs> ketchup icing? <laughs> no ketchup until recently. Um, you weren't a ketchup kid at all? Never. What? I, there Did was, I know this? I know you were, I've just recently become a ketchup man. I know you were a barbecue guy. What were you dipping your fries in then? Barbecue, if it was there, I'm a plain Jane. Really? Mm-hmm. Old school, meat and potatoes, baby, yeah. right up the middle. You're like Angela's ashes. <laughs> guy. Like a Molly Maguire. What do, you think the, what do you think the classiest cake is? Black Forest? Listen, turn his mic off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the... The Black Forest is never fucking good. And if you mention Red Velvet, I'll smack you. It's, the icing's good. Red, Get out of here with the Red Velvet. Yeah, it's It's, beets. A, it's missing something. Yeah. It well, needs chocolate beets. chips or something. Um, I don't know. I'm not a cl- I'm not a cake guy. I don't know. Something the cake boss makes. I tell you what, I don't kick out of bed is that confetti cake. That shit's hot. What's that? Whoa. You also know what's great though, and it, it is trashy. We picked up one of those from fucking Magnolia for my sister in law's birthday. What the fuck's birthday. a confetti cake? <sighs> this guy. Well, if you want to be a real dirtbag about it, it's funfetti. Yeah, it's funfetti. A funfetti cake. Mm-hmm. Oh, that just, looks all right. Oh, 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 oh. They just put rainbow sprinkles in the banner. That's like milk bar shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking tight. Um, 
a fucking old school, right up the middle Carvel ice cream cake with the crumbles in the in the between the layers. Let well, it sit out for a couple of minutes. Yeah, let it rest. Yeah, eat it really out of a nice. bowl. Oh, come on, <laughs> not too shabby. Those crunchies, but we used to fight over them. And as a kid, as they a- were like salt in the ancient world. <laughs> Those crunchies when you were a kid, bro. The fucking wars were. We're down in over. the crunch. The- We've secured the crunchy mine. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Um, also, too, it was big when we were a kid, you know, like 10, whatever, uh, was when you were cutting the cake, you would try to get your name. If it said, like, happy birthday, Kevin, or what, you would try to get your whole name. But it, sometimes you were eating a slice of cake the size of the table. Just fucking munching on it. You haven't put your middle name and confirmation <laughs> name on there, too? <laughs> Kevin James Ryan Kippy KJ. Can you put my address on there as well? <laughs> NPO box. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, my mom always made chocolate cake, buttercream icing, homemade, up the middle, fucking old school. Uh-huh. One of those waiting up for me in February when I fucking walk into the house after school. Let's go. Yeah. Ready for dinner. Um, all right, let's do one more, and then we got to skedaddle. Um, this one is pretty funny, and I, I assume it resonates with most suburban people. This is from Michael N., how many deflated balls do you have in your garage? Dude, that's so fucking funny you mentioned it's that. Every dude, there's some not I've, there's nothing at my mom's house that you could play with. No. And but there, there's a, there's one of at least one of everything. Dude, that's so cr- the, yesterday Saglo and I had a catch with a a football. <laughs> of course you did. That was in my that's in my car. That's my nephew's that is fucking half deflated. Yeah. No, you never the pumps you never had. No. Trying to find those needles when you were a kid. There was like a two-year like period. Treasure. There was a two-year period where we had a tight ship at the house. Really? We had the air compressor and all the needles and everything, and everything worked. And I, you felt like fucking Richie Rich. To get a pet poison. Neighbors here. were coming over. Let me use the needle. I got the needle. You know what I mean? Oh, those needles. I did not know. Where you, it's like, do we not have dicks back then? How come we just didn't go and get some? I know. They I, were never around. I don't know, man. There was a thing with the ninety, it the nineties, at least the, for me. I'm sure with the eighties, but like, or I think we were talking about this. Like, you just suffered. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just like, well, I guess I'm just gonna play basketball with a flat ball. Yeah. Now imagine a kid be having that. You'd be like, I don't know. We just did everything with whatever you had. That was like so half that, mm-hmm. half ass. Never had new cars. Never had. It was always like. You just never had a needle for a fucking pump. Never. I know that. Never. Mm, mm, uh-uh. Mm. Never. How many times you like, shot a basketball and it just <laughs> fell flat, didn't bounce back to you? I think we were talking about skippets and how the, the counter never works. Oh, the counter never worked on skippets, too. Or skip could you have fixed it, that? Skip it. What? Could you have fixed that? Well, I mean, I'm not Tim the Toolman Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, my magnifying glass. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's just something that just didn't work. The pump you could get. You could get a pump and fix the. the you had to know someone at NASA. Well, then why weren't they? Re- why didn't everybody have a pump? They're nine know. bucks now. They weren't nine bucks back then. They had to be expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like it didn't make sense that not everybody else had a working pump. Everybody's got one now. Probably they probably come with cars. Every trunk probably comes with a fucking air compressor. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Good times back yeah. then. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do one more because. That really slowed. That really died down. <laughs> mm. I'm looking at the host to fucking land the plane. He pulls up. Mm. Let's NPR this for a minute. This one's just funny. This is from Michelle. Haven't had a question read yet. What is the trashy and ch- trashiest chip, and why is it re- Cool Ranch Doritos? She's not wrong. They're, she's not. They're good. Love They're, a nice no, Cool stop. Ranch. They are the pinnacle. They are phenomenal. They're good. They're great. They're not my favorite. Dorito. Really? No. What are you, sweet chili lime guy? Not too bad. Fucking new money bullshit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. The spicy nacho ain't nothing to turn your nose up at either, okay? You bite your fucking tongue. Cool Ranch is great. It's fine. But you're an up the middle straight nacho cheese guy? Those, that and a those, fucking screaming cold Coke? Those things hit the scene like a fucking tidal wave. Yeah. Woo! Big fan, baby. Love them. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Gang, listen, we love you guys. We appreciate you. Uh, come out and see a live show. Yeah. So Add some I, couple of dates for the end of the year. It's going to be fun. Upstate New York, Albany, Syracuse, and Hartford, Connecticut will be uh, in the middle of December. So get those fucking tickets. The link will be in the description and will probably be in the bumper already. And come to see us in New York City, baby. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>